After we annex Sol, we'll be able to form Rajputana, then we can flip the Seek, then we can form Punjab, I think. And after we form Punjab and we annex these guys, we can actually flip to Nepali and become Nepal. And then we can flip to Jharkhandi or uh, Garjati and form Nagpur, then form Orissa, then uh, become Marathi right here, then form Marathas, then become Muslim, and then uh, form Deccan, then Delhi, and then Hindustan. <laughs> I know. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with a very interesting, a very powerful and probably my favorite nation over in India as the nation of Mewar. Mewar is located over here in the western portion of India and we do start off with some rebels right here that of course we're going to deal with and we start off with this awesome 446 ruler who's going to help us out a ton and Mewari ideas, their mission tree and later the ability to form Rajput Putana makes Mewar one of the most powerful militarily focused nations in the game with amazing ideas such as minus 20% infantry cost and plus 10% infantry combat as starters, minus 0.03 monthly war exhaustion as a finisher, then we got minus 1% yearly army tradition decay, plus 1 yearly prestige, plus 15% fort defense, minus 10% dev discount, plus 15% national manpower, plus 10% fire damage, and plus 5% discipline, and we also start off with Hadoti right here who is our vassal. So I play with Mewar lots of times, I've always had fun and today we're gonna do the same but what do we do as mewar well mewar does have an achievement called mewar never changes which i do already have but according to one commenter here's something very interesting that we can do our goal today should be mewar always changes and our goal as mewar should be to form the most nations possible so as another commenter suggested this is what we're gonna do we're gonna start as mewar form rajputana become sikh then culture shift to punjabi form punjab culture shift to nepali form nepal culture shift to jharkhandi form Nagpur, then form Orissa, then culture shift to Marathi, form Marathas, then become Muslim, then form Deccan, then form Delhi, then form Hindustan. So for today's challenge, we're gonna have to form nine nations, everyone. That might take a whole lot. So what I'm gonna do for today's challenge is five nations formed bronze tier, seven nations formed silver tier, and nine nations formed all the way to Hindustan. It's gonna be a gold tier. So we need to form at least five nations for this to be a success. But then after that, it depends on the level of success. Uh, I've never done anything like this in a to z we're gonna be forming nine nations i've never formed that many and uh i'm anticipating well a lot a lot of pain so let's jump in as mewar and form nine nations all right all right here we are as mewar and of course at the start we do have to deal with these rebels right here and uh you know stabilize our nation build up some forts integrate our vassal in order to kickstart this amazing mission tree and of course according to the order that we need to follow suggested by that one commenter and by the way i can't be bothered to figure out a different order the first nation we need to form is actually rajputana which is uh right here at admin tech 10 so until we get to form rajputana we're basically gonna have to blob out all throughout india because there are various cultures that we need to shift to and we need to own them by the time we form Rajputana so we can just do everything in rapid succession later on. So until Admin Tech 10, it's basically just a bunch of conquering, uh, mostly in the north right here. Not really too concerned about this, although we do need provinces down here to form uh, what you call it, Hindustan later on. So yeah, let's get started by selecting a deity right now and I do think the best thing at the start would be the CCR and AE Impact. Boom, just like that. And now we can go ahead and do our estates, the complicated indian estate set up and uh then we'll get to conquering all right estate stuff done i think i can never figure it out over here but uh, either way let's rival the nations that have rivaled us which is delhi gujarat and we're gonna do uh sin right here as well since we do need to fight them are we making money right at the start we are and we do start off with the only gold mine in india which is gonna help fund our expansion all right force limit is let's see right here 13 let me get some advisors first i'll take the uh unrest guy i'll take the diplorev guy and i'll take the fort defense guy sure uh we do start off with seven two we are rich enough to sustain this so i'm gonna get three more actually five more infantry regiments right here or no maybe i shouldn't do that let's actually just get three more and then i'll get the free company up and running as well perfect uh let's go ahead and start improving with our subject right here and uh let's look for some allies can we ally any nations right off the bat any big guys bahmanis vidge bengal i feel like getting bengal and vidge would be good since they're far away and we won't fight them too soon uh yeah i'm gonna try and go for vidge here we should be able to royal marry them pretty soon all right let's deal with the rebels and uh then we'll start expanding into the small guys and big guys around us like i said it's pretty much expansion all the way till admin tech 
10 until we can unite the Rajputs. All right, Rebels have been cleared out. Now we just need to get the two stab and integrate our subject to kickstart uh, this part of the mission tree. For this one, we need some uh, Rajputs thingies, barracks, and uh, for this one, we need a fort. So uh, yeah, first nation I'm spying on is Naga Ur right here. They've gotten strong allies. All right, let's see who hasn't gotten strong allies. How about Doomdar? We'll spy on them. After the Renaissance spawns, I'm going to activate Encourage and uh, bump up Mewar uh, over here. You know, might as well help speed up the spawning of the Renaissance and the Devar Gold Mine. So uh, yeah, in about five years, we'll be doing it. Okay, let's start our first war. It's going to be versus Doomdar right here. No need to co-belligerent Garwal. They're too far away. So let's do that. And I'll immediately start spying on uh, Edar down here. Meanwhile, we're all married with Vig. I'll ally them once my war is over. War is done. We're going to be full annexing Dundar here. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and ally Vig. And now I'm going to start my next war immediately by declaring on Edar right here. Okay, I've beaten up Edar, but they've been declared on by Gujarat. Now, Gujarat is a decently strong nation, about as strong as us at the start, and they're allied to Baluchistan and Sin, which makes it super annoying to fight them. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to vassalize the nation I just fought, Edar, boom, just like that. And now we're in defensive wars versus Gujarat and versus Rewakanda, whoever that is. It's these guys right here. And obviously, I can just call in Vidge right here into both of those wars, in fact. And uh, yeah, it's going to be super easy to beat up Gujarat now. So let's go ahead and actually beat these guys up first, since they're easier and then we'll deal with Gujarat. All right, we're beating both of these guys up. Let's peace out Rawakanda. Boom, there we go. And I think it's over versus Gujarat. They're another Hindu nation, so not too many nations will be mad and they're in my culture group. So what I think I'm going to do in this first war versus them is, uh, well, maybe not this. Like this, I can reach the guys down here. And if I take this, I'll also be able to reach Balgana here. So I think this is going to be our first deal with Gujarat here. Uh, I'm also going to humiliate them and um, that's done. Perfect. Age objective ticked off. I got tech four in every category already. Thanks to this awesome starting lure. Air is a general, by the way. So let's go ahead and reduce this once, core some of them up, and then I'll uh, bump up the gold mine and uh, dev for the Renaissance. And there's the final dev click for Mewar. Perfect. I also lowered autonomy and now it's at 10 development. Perfect. Uh, now I'm going to spawn the Renaissance here since it's a level two center of trade and it produces cloth and it's grasslands, which makes it super, super cheap. In fact, I can already activate uh, Encourage right here, bump it up a couple of times, then expand infrastructure, and then keep diving for the Renaissance here. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit painful, but luckily our starting ruler helps us out a ton. Just paid off my starter burger loans or giant loans. There we go. There's indebted to the giants once again. And we do have a couple of centers of trade. So I'm going to put down a marketplace right here along with our and in Chitor and in the province I'm diving right now. Later, Mewar will actually be our uh, capital. So uh, yeah, time has passed. I'm going to start annexing no one because I need to improve. And there's the Renaissance dev in that province I took from Gujarat. I need 214 ducats to embrace it, which will come super, super fast. All right, now we can actually continue our wars. Let me just turn off the edicts right here. And uh, I think I should declare on Sindh. They're pretty weak technologically. Actually, they're not, I guess. Uh, doesn't matter too much. I'm going to declare on Sindh, just white piece Gujarat, and um, then we'll get a move on. In fact, I'm going to call in Vij. Why not? Tier 2 Gov reform time, uh, how influential are the... Who's strength in here? The Rajputs. The Rajputs. Well, we do want them to be influential for this mission, right? So, bring the noble privileges. All right, war with Sindh is done. This is what I'm going to take in their first war. I think they are the... Well, they're the second Muslim nation we're fighting, so A is going to be kind of eh. What I'm going to do is also take all of their money, and that's my first war with Sindh done. All right, I'm not going to be converting anything. I hope I can get good religious unity. Maybe there's some, uh, like, um, power thingy here for some of these guys i guess not either way let's uh let's score everything up all right so now for this mission right here if i'm understanding it correctly i need a fort in marwar or garwar one of these two i don't know why mewar is flashing but uh i did get an event for defensiveness right here earlier so i guess this is a good place to build a fort i mean we'll have two forts around our capital our future capital so yeah also let's annex hadoti i gave away that already yeah integration policy sure there's Hadoti Annex, and we can take the mission order in the domain where we gain perma claims on uh, these areas right here. All right. Uh, I guess we'll get a move on soon. We're actually expanding pretty rapidly, so I'll chill a little bit more. All right, let's get a move on. Let's wipe out some small guys. How about Jalavad and uh, Jai Salmer here? The fort in Gorwar has finished building, which means we can take this mission. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And then we need to be at peace. And Mewar has a temple or a cathedral. It does. Marketplace or a courthouse okay so we need to build buildings here and we need a fort or actually one so yeah courthouse or fort okay ah this sucks what the f so we lose this guy ah oh, this is so lame whatever i'm gonna go with the same deity who's the pretenders i guess it's the guy i had or whatever no big deal though i guess war is done 
Okay, I'm gonna vassalize these guys since they're like the Vig and I can be bothered. First idea group time, obviously, with a nation with, uh, you know, such powerful national ideas and missions and stuff like that focused on our army. We gotta focus even more on our army. So, uh, let's get it, baby. Offensive. Oh, yeah, and I'm also gonna vassalize uh, poor Bandar here, another nation that was allied to uh, Vidge. Perfect, I got three subjects now. These guys are pretty influential. Gave out the uh, subject rights, which is basically that uh, vassal thingy. Now we can go ahead and fight... Uh, Malwa, I think, with the help of Vidj. Even though they're like to Bengal, we should be able to do this. So let's declare for Mansaur right there. Yeah, lots of annoying allies, but we're more annoying. <laughs> I should probably build up my army, huh? Right. Let's go with Justified Wars. Well, my strat of giving the air mill command worked. Now we got a good air. But they're this... <laughs> He's older than the... Whatever. Well, this war is done. Wasn't as difficult as I thought. Shout out to Vidj for piecing out Bengal. They were on low manpower for some reason. Uh, all right, we do got some claims on Malwa. So we do have to take those. That That's already 50 A, man. Uh, Malwa is Hindu. I feel like I should take something else too. You know what I'm saying? What about this? That's 65. Is this risky? No, it's not. Warps, money. Boom, that's that. Now we should be able to take a mission. Yes, we can. Conquer Malwa, cap discount discipline and even more perma claims on stuff up here i guess okay well that's not really where i wanted to expand right now but sure we'll take it a great power really this is almost 400 dev dude it, i feel like we're so small honestly but another nation that i can't be bothered to fight because they're like the Vish. another nation that i'll try and vassalize vassalize those guys and i've just been upgrading some level two center of trade uh we're making really nice money here uh surprisingly memoir Oh, it depleted. Oh, yeah, I sent this back to 10, by the way. Look at this income, man. But this is pretty good for 1467, honestly. The only slight problem right now is manpower because I'm fighting so much wars, but honestly, no big deal. I'm going to go ahead and finish off Gujarat. Uh, there we go. The return of Rana Judah to Marwar. Oh, I guess these guys popped out. Yeah, there's nations like this in India. You get, like, these events where a random nation pops out and declares independence. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. Okay, war with Gujarat is done. Let's go ahead and full annex them. There we go. They don't exist anymore. It's only this one nation left here on the peninsula, Jungar, which I'm actually going to declare on right now, even though I'm fighting these guys and I just got rebels. Vig won't join because this destabilized, blah, 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 whatever. Orissa is kind of strong. It will be annoying to piece them out, but luckily my subjects are doing lots of work too. All right, called it with the guys. Um, This is my core, so it's whatever. I managed to call in Vidge because I ended this other war. Uh, base production in Mewar, 300 ducats. Perfect. Yeah, it's not full though. I'm just building a building. Yeah. Uh, not good with the Raj post. This is like the, think of it like the Indian Janissary estate or something like that. A combination of that and the nobles. But uh, if I do this, they'll go over 100 influence and we get lots of autonomy. Whereas with this, we just lose stab and that morale only affects them. But I don't have Raj put regiments, so... Yeah. We don't really have any buildings to build right now until we hit Admin Tech 6, so I actually am gonna build the Megrungar Fort right here. Sorry for butchering the pronunciation, but uh, at tier 1 it sucks, but at tier 2 and 3 it's really good. Alright, knocked out Orissa, so this war is done too. Perfect, there's another full annexation. And I can also annex Edar here, a nation that I vassalized previously. Okay, so Bahmani is this fighting Vidj? No, what is this? Bahmani conquest of... What? Andra... Okay, so Bahmani is declared on Vidj and Andhra. This might be a good time for me to declare, man. We can pop out, uh, what you call it, Ahmedangar from here, along with uh, Bijapur down here, and uh, reconquer lots, of course. Yeah, we do need a province from them. So let's uh, wait for this to play out. They'll be low on manpower. In fact, they already are, and then I'm going to deal with them. Tier 3, Governor Form Time. We're going to be playing heavily with subjects for the entirety of the campaign, so that's why I'm going to go with uh, Representatives of the Crown. Diplo Relations, Vassal Force Limit, Monarch Power from tributary blah blah, blah. Man, vassals get manpower and blah 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 and now we can found udaipur and mewar will become our capital boom perfect uh there we go that's our capital now we have lots of forts here ladies and gents lots of forts you know what i'm actually gonna keep them man it's not like we're broke <laughs> while we're at peace i'm actually gonna continue with vassalization there's so many nations we can vassalize and that would save us a little bit of time in uh you know doing stuff let's do garha right here there are two provinces large Finally, admin tech six. So I'm going to get new giant loans now. Boom, there we go. And let's start building those workshops, which is exactly what I waited for, baby, in all the high value trade good provinces. Uh, and there are lots of them. There's a vassal, these guys, and there's another vassal, these guys. Perfect. I got five subjects now. We should be able to get some more. Okay, these two nations right here, I'm seeing that they're ally less or who's a suruja whatever doesn't matter i can just beat them up and i'll feed them to like garha or whatever there's another war declaration yeah wars are done i'm gonna feed both of these nations to my subject garha 
Okay, Bahmanis ended their war with Vig, low on manpower, I might be a tech ahead, no, we're the same, but either way, I'll declare, uh, let's do a, who, who has cores on them? Okay, apparently Garha has cores on them, nice, so we'll declare a reconquest for Mandla right here, and I'll take some provinces to pop out some nations down here, uh, should be okay-ish. <laughs> Pretty fun war, man. These guys murked up heavily, but in the end, we did manage to defeat them. Now, I want these two provinces to release uh, Bijapur, right, and Ahmedangar. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all their coastline. Then let's give some of these cores back to Garha, and I'm also gonna take this. Okay, that should be about enough for now. Let's get war reps and some money, too. Okay, it doesn't seem like we took a lot, but we did. Now we need to release Ahmedangar, so let's go ahead and look for them. And uh, there they are, perfect. And these are their cores that we'll reconquer. And now we need to release Bijapur as well. Let's try and find them. Yeah, Bijapur is not here, so... <laughs> Um, okay. Either way, mission, conquer, blah, blah, blah. Nice. Yeah, I also had to get the free company up, man, to uh, sustain this. <laughs> Luckily. <laughs> I've also just allied Orissa. I want these guys to help me versus everyone else. John Poor is getting pretty big and they're pretty tough to fight. Lots of allies, as always. I'm gonna annex Poor Bandar. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is fight Delhi. Even though they have sort of a weird shape here, we might be able to full annex them. The province war score cost is 1-1, one actually, so we won't, but no big deal. Let's go ahead and fight Delhi for the conquest of whatever, call in Vig. They have some allies. I'll annex these small guys, too. Might annex Jangladesh, too. This ally is out. That's a wrap on offensive, and we can also knock out Jangladesh. Oh, no, they're a vassal. Dude, we're getting some awesome generals. I hired both of these guys. Anyway, it's a wrap with Delhi. I'll pretty much take as much as I can here, and it's gonna be about this much, I guess. You know what? Let's not get greedy. Let's not take Jamu in that one. Okay, that's it. War over there is done. Yeah, Timurids, not that strong, but they are involved here. Yeah, Janpur is the biggest rival right now, I guess. They're not even that strong, actually. Let's annex Politana. And uh, Baglana, right? They don't have cores. Nope. Okay, there's Miltek 7. I'm gonna get some cannons right now. Four should be about enough. Let's see which one of these guys... Okay, both of them have siege pips. Uh, I'm also gonna get my second idea group here, and I was thinking uh, humanist or influence right here, but we really need influence, man. Lots of subjects. We're gonna keep having subjects, and we do need to integrate them and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, influence. I might get the humanist later, but we'll see. Uh, we're already pretty good on these points, so yeah, let's do that. Yeah, and I'm gonna vassalize Kongra here. And I'm I'm gonna vassalize Jarkand as well. And now what we're gonna do is declare on John Poor. Okay, so they have Chagatai, Sin, Nagur, and Tirhat as allies. If a co-belligerent Sin, the Timurids will come in. If a co-belligerent Nagur, the Timurids will come in. So let's just declare for uh, Barat Poor right there. And we should be able to take them on by ourselves. Just piecing out these guys one by one. We also got the Mura Janjiro Fort, but we're not really using a navy. We can do this one as well, which is on our subject. Uh, this one is lame too. All right, I'm tired of seeing Nagaur on the map. Bye-bye. Now we should be able to take a mission? Nope. <laughs> Dear Forga, reform time. Expand Brahmin privileges. Tolerance. Okay. Expand temple rights. Animal advisor discount. I'm going to take this. Yeah. Uh, curtail clerical privileges. I think we're done with John Poor here. Losing lots of manpower as always. That's the biggest problem, man. Uh, we got to go quantity or something or unlock this idea quick. Either way, World War Jampur is done. I'm going to take these two provinces right here and then we can release the nation of Oud maybe from some of these provinces. So what I'm going to do is that and then this. Now that's... A lot of it. I don't like that, man. I don't like that at all. <laughs> uh, this sucks, dude. Yeah, Delhi is just the one that's so expensive. Maybe something like this then? I don't know. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Uh, can we make them break an alliance with someone with Sind? Money. Boom, that's done. Uh, Ode is the nation I need to release. There they are. Uh, boom. And we have some cores to reconquer. Excellent. Now we can take this mission, unite Rajputana, general, morale, and lots of permaclaims around us. And let's see that general. Ooh. I like that, baby. I like that a lot. Let's score stuff up. Right now, the biggest problem is AE and uh, manpower. And by the way, we still haven't formed a single nation, guys. Remember, <laughs> Rajputana is first. And we don't even have all the provinces we need for it. <laughs> I didn't know we had a unique naval action. This is really cool, actually. Blockade efficiency, blockade impact on siege, naval barrage discount. That's really good. I'm not using boats. Probably won't ever. But yeah, cool nonetheless. Uh, let's give the Vaishas this. And then we need to hurry it up to Admin Tech 8, man. Right, I also need uh, a level 3 center of trade for a mission. Um, oh, it needs to be 25 dev. Well, is it any anyone? 
Nah, it's got to be this one. So we got to dev this up to 25. There we go. It's at 25 dev. Uh, level 3 center of trade. Right. Not yet. Okay. There it is. Now we can take a level 3 center of trade. And once again, we move our capital. <laughs> Why? Why do we keep doing the this? Uh, are we going to... Are we gonna move it again? <laughs> All right, so many forts. I gotta delete one. Ah. Okay, next war time. I'm gonna declare on Sindh for whatever Sindh in Afghanistan, and I'm actually gonna let the minions do the work. I have so many of them, dude, and they have uh, they have no armies. Do they have debt? They don't have debt. We're done with Sindh. I'm gonna go ahead and full annex them, and there we go. There's another nation uh, wiped off the face of the earth. Looking good, baby. Looking very good. Another mission. Uh, conquer sin prestige and trade power okay that's pretty nice let's do that doesn't matter too much let's core it up ah uh, molton doesn't have allies and molton has been uh full annexed officially you know i actually forgot about bahmanis <laughs> let's uh let's do a little reconquest for Ahmedangar. let's call in Fidge and orissa and uh, they along with the vassals can do most of the heavy lifting hey there's seek we do need seek later for doing whatever nice you know the air is good but he is 60 Okay, not bad. Finally, admin take eight. I need to do this. Uh, where are the buildings? There they are. I think we're done with Bahmanis. Okay, let's give Ahmedagar all of their cores back, which are these provinces. And then I have uh, some claims down here as well. And up here, those are my boys, right? So let's go ahead and take this. That's not actually a whole lot at all. I'm going to take even more. Yeah, as much as I can, which is pretty much that. All right. Awesome. Uh, Let's core. Can I release like Bijapur now or whatever? Yeah, here they are, but they'll only receive Bijapur. Why? When all of this is like their core. Yeah, might as well save some admin points. But then again, I'm kind of low on Diplo as well. I'm not going to release Bijapur. I am going to annex Garha. All right, just finished fighting Bengal. Orissa called me in. Uh, Jarkin got two provinces, which is nice. Now let's fight Delhi, finish them off, and I'm going to take these Timurid provinces as well. Ooh, I don't have claims. Luckily, luckily, Kongra does. Since this is taking forever, since I can't peace out Hormuz, I'm just going to declare on Janpur a reconquest for one of Ode's cores, and it's going to be for luck now. All right, Delhi unconditionally surrendered. Well, that's a massive dub versus Janpur. We're going to give Ode all of their cores back, and then I'm going to take... What am I going to take, man? What am I going to take? This is what I'm going to take. Now we can do another mission, reclaim Delhi, blah, 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 prestige, lots of debt from Delhi gets transferred over to our current capital, and we gain further claims on this. Oh, okay, I don't need to spy on the Timurids. Let's annex Ahmedangar. Let's vassalize Gorka. Just with the Timurids is up, so I am going to fight them. How do I fight Afghanistan at the same time, though? I guess I can't. Whatever, uh, Timurids. Let's call it, since this is the only thing I want. Another mission, conquer Punjab. Perfect. Now I'm going to declare on Afghanistan, I want uh, these two provinces, so let's declare for Banu. We've annexed Ahmedangar. Excellent. I can uh, state this up for free. Let's peace out. I only want these two provinces. I was like, let's threaten Guge, but uh, <laughs> how is this possible? How is Guge's like, uh, how is Ming's only ally Guge, dude? Uh, I really want this province. It's going to bug me otherwise. Not that we need it. Colonialism has spawned and the cheapest province to dev is uh, Bilsa over here. So that is uh, exactly the province I'm going to develop. I have so many mill points, dude. Uh, we should be able to get this uh, pretty easily. Uh, let's declare on Bahmanis. I've set everything over there as provinces of interest and Orissa will help out. Let's get it. Oh, uh, there's colonialism. I think we're too big to embrace it right away, are we? Yeah, we are. We need to wait for it to spread. Let me activate advancement. By the way, don't forget, we're still on track to form these nations. We're just <laughs> chilling. Admin Deck 10 is going to come up pretty soon, but we still need uh, Varanasi and Kanuj to form uh, Rajputana, which are these two provinces. Yeah, we're done with Bahmanis. I'm going to take as much as I can here. Uh, that's, I guess, as much as I can. <laughs> I've started annexing these two subjects. Ooh, but now we can become an empire. There we go. Lots of accepted cultures now. I like that. Core up some more. I'm really lacking admin points, by the way. And uh, it's time for tier five government reform. Let's go with the barrage thing. Yeah, there it is. Military engineering. I'm also going to vassalize Limbuwan now. Okay, while I'm chilling, I'm just going to declare on Guge. Realistically, what's Ming going to do? Uh, I don't think I can see Ming's troops down here because only they have like 100k. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I just want this one province, Guge. Okay, the Ming army is a pushover like always, and I just want this one province. We're done. Finally, we wrap on influence. Oh no, I'm stuck here. Well, the only way to go is through. <laughs> By the way, I got coalitioned in that last war. Uh, Bengal and these guys are in it. Oh, uh, that's done. Okay, I actually have to spy on these guys to go through them. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, these wars are done too. Uh, actually, I'm gonna feed this to like uh, Gorka. And there we go. Nice. Coalition is getting bigger, so we're gonna have to juggle it now. I have to declare on Jampur as soon as my shoes expires. There's the truth with Jampur precisely on the day we have to declare. Not threaten war. No, 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 no. A regular declaration. Do I have my own claims? Let's declare for a uh, lower Doab, for example. And we're done here. Excellent. Uh, we gotta take Varanasi here for uh, to be able to form Rashputana. Then I'm gonna do something like this. And how about... Uh, yeah, this is as much as I can take right now. Okay, expanding quite rapidly, man. But there's no one else that can join the coalition. It's pretty much just these guys and Bengal. How am I gonna fight Bengal with this coalition? Actually, it's not even that bad, honestly. But pretty much everyone is done here. It's just Janpur, Bengal, Orissa, and... When did I add my alliance with these guys? Frick. Anyway, new mission. Conquer this. And I just gained further claims on that uh let's get rid of this army because it's out of manpower uh the independent arm time for another idea group do we go with something uh else that's male man we're still making a lot of money here eh, and i'm still struggling with manpower do we go quantity here or quality you know what let's use quantity yeah the first one is gonna help us even though quantity kind of sucks right now i am gonna go with it no need for humanists by the way not as many rebels as i thought there'd be this campaign i'm an idiot i should have courted these before checking up so yeah, I was in a dilemma which one of these two guys to fight first, but obviously it's going to be Vidge first since uh, they broke their alliance with me at some point, and I'm still allied to Orissa. Finally, I can start annexing Ode. There's a courthouse in literally every single province. And now that I've vassalized Terhat, the only nations that are left in India to fight are literally Bengal, Orissa, Bahmanis, and Vidge. Yeah. That's pretty much it. If this is in the Maldives, no, it isn't. So yeah, one of them is my allies. And then it's Jean Poor, of course. Everyone else is my subject. So right now what I'm doing is annexing Ode. After we annex Ode, we'll be able to form Rajputana. Then we can flip the Sikh. Then we can form Punjab, I think. And after we form Punjab and we annex these guys, we can actually flip to Nepali and become Nepal. And then we can flip to Jharkhandi or uh, Garjati and form Nagpur. Then form Orissa. Then uh, become a Marathi right here. Then form Marathas. Then become Muslim. And then... Uh, form Deccan, then Delhi, and then Hindustan. <laughs> I know. And now that I've annexed Ode, we can take the decision to unite the Rajputs and boom, here's our first nation formation. There's Rajputana, ladies and gentlemen, one of the most powerful militarily focused nations in the game, even more powerful than Mewar. Look at this. Morale, military free policies, discipline, CCR, manpower, calf combat, movement speed, land damage, tolerance of the true faith, artillery discount, your legitimacy, discipline as a finisher. Oh, I love it. Wait, if you form a nation, people leave coalitions? But now I'm actually going to stay as Rajputana until the end because Rajputana does have the best conquest focused ideas and I can conquer the fastest as Rajputana, right? Later, once we get everything then we'll do everything else which was uh well everything i just said starting with flipping Sikh, uh punjabi and forming punjab but for now who can we fight bengal do i even border them no, actually let's do vidj okay this is pretty much as far as we can go on vidj now i gotta take provinces right here to release keladi uh misore and madurai so everything from salem so i can do something like this right i can release um keladi Sore and then Madurai from there. Okay, excellent. And then I'm gonna take some provinces up here that I can't release anyone from. What about Goa too? Yeah, let's do something like this. All right, who did I say I was gonna release? Madurai. Let's look for that. It should be at the bottom. Wait, Andra. Where's Andra? Oh, actually, I should release Andra too. Uh, let's find them. There we go. There's Andra. These are their cores that we'll reconquer. There's Madurai. There's Misori. And there's Keladi. So these are the cores that we can reconquer later on. Excellent. That it's not looking too bad at all. In fact, with the favors that I have with Arissa, I can actually ask a lot of Andran cores to be given back to them. Okay, but now that that's done, we have this little coalition against us reforming Afghanistan, the Timurids, and Bahmanis. So what I gotta do right here is declare on Bahmanis immediate. Ooh, actually, I'll fight Arissa like that. I gotta declare on someone to avoid other people joining the coalition. Uh, yeah, let's do Bengal. We gotta choose juggle here. Yeah, I can take stuff next to Jarkand. Uh, let's do Nasirabad, wherever that is. And that's a wrap on Bengal. Now, until the end of the game, we got a true struggle. John Poor, Vidge, and Bengal right here. And I'll finish off Bachmanis wherever. So we got to keep hitting these guys to prevent them from joining this coalition. Not that it's hard to fight. It's just annoying. Why fight these guys if I don't have to, right? But either way, the war with Bengal is done. Uh, let's take the provinces here that I have claims on. And then I'm going to take everything else that I can once again. Uh, we don't care about AE anymore. Actually, that's uh, over 100 over extension, so let's do that. Let's start asking for uh, Orissa for cores back. I think we should be able to do a couple. There we go. There's the third one. 
And there's the fourth one, and I think that's all we can do. Nice, now we can do a mission. Uh, Hills of Gondwana. More claims. And by the way, I'm staying allied to Orissa just so they don't join the coalition with, against me. Otherwise, I would have broken it off a long time ago. We finally <laughs> finished this mission right here. Okay. I don't have discipline, though. I gotta give this for a mission. I don't want to do it, but... <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna start annexing Gorka and wait, do I do Jerkin? There's still one more core that I need to get back from Orissa. Yeah, there it is. Now I can annex them. Truce with Jumper is up. We gotta declare before they join the coalition, and we might be able to full annex them here. Let's declare for their capital, actually. Just beat up Transoxiana. Everyone's leaving the coalition. Either way, War with Jumper is done. Let's see how much we can take here. Uh we can full annex them. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, next is Vidge in five years. People are leaving. <laughs> now we can do this one. All right, further claims here. Oh, we got to finish Bahmani's wall. Uh -huh. There's no coalition. And there goes Bahmani's. Excellent. I like that. Okay, let's beat these rebels up. And something else I need to do is upgrade the center of trade here so I can take this mission. Awesome. Prestige, dev, sweet. Only two more missions left in the Rajputana mission tree. I don't think we're going to complete them, honestly. Jurkan annexed. Let's do Tirhat as well. Gorga annexed. Let me actually go ahead and get some regular loans because I do need to get some uh, boats here in preparation for fighting uh, Vig. Tirhat has been annexed as well. There's the truce with Vig. Uh, reconquest, obviously, for Bellari, whose ever core that is. There we go. We've wrapped up quantity. And we're done here because, uh, well, we're not sieging down Vig's allies, are we? Okay, I've transferred everything to my subjects. Let's give this over to Andra. Let's give this over to Keladi. Let's give this to Misore. And uh, I don't think we can retake Madurai's cores right now. So what I'm going to do is just take that for myself. And then we'll deal with their cores and the rest of them later. Looking pretty good. Keladi, Andra, Misori, they've gotten their cores back. Well, Andra, not from Orissa, but you get the point. Yeah. See, this is where I messed up. I didn't have a claim on Bengal and now they've entered the coalition. Even though it's only two guys, uh, they're guaranteed by Orissa as well. Let's get it on. We might be able to pull annex Bengal here. Unfortunately, we are fighting more nations than we need to, but it is what it is. Opinion with Orissa is horrible, so might as well fight them. Okay, Orissa's 100%ed. I'm gonna make them give stuff back to Andra. <laughs> And we're done with Bengal too. Nice. Uh, this is the only thing that's in the region of India, which is the only things I want. I don't need these two other provinces. So uh, that's a wrap on Bengal as well. All right. Two or three more wars versus Vidge. Let's see. Three more wars and uh, three more wars versus Orissa. Alrighty then. That's what it's looking like, baby. Everything else we own, everything else that we want. Uh, this isn't in India, so I want to return it. Andra has all of its cores back, so I'm going to annex them. I'm also going to annex Kaladi. Let's see if we can threaten war on Mong Kwong right here. Yes, we can. All right. We don't have to fight them. Excellent. Tier 6 gov reform. We need the gov cap. Does uh, one of these have gov cap? It doesn't. So let's go aristocratic then. Thing is, we're still fighting these guys because they have provinces that we need to form. Bharat slash Hindustan. Kiladi annexed. Let's annex Missouri too. I got a dev, uh, what you call it, the printing press somewhere, man. The printing press. Can you believe this? Uh, we never get this far. There's Missouri and Andra annexed. Truce with Vig is finally up, man. I've been waiting for so long. Let's declare a reconquest for uh, Jinji right there or whatever. I, I don't know. What are their cores? Tanjore? Sure. There we go. All right. They'll give me everything I can take. Perfect. War score cost is now 180. How do they still have so much dev, man? This isn't like this shouldn't be 180 war score. Let's annex the final subject. Truce with Orissa is up. I don't have a CB. What the fuck? Okay, finally got a claim on Orissa. <laughs> we still have... Oh, just as uh, my boys spied on them as well. Well, isn't that convenient? I just clicked on an event where I got, like, autonomy everywhere. I was an idiot. I didn't even notice. Uh, fourth idea group. Wow, when do we ever do this in, um, freaking, what you call it, in A to Z? And we're gonna go Diplo here. That's 100% on Orissa. Let's see how much we can take right here. Probably not a lot at all. Gee, why can I take so little? I don't understand. Honestly, I don't. Am I taking, like, two high of provinces? What is this? It's so stupid. <laughs> Our final subject has been annexed. Wait, these guys got exploration. Are they colonizing? Is that why it's 186? They are colonizing. Well, I don't need to full annex them. I just need their stuff here. Hey, we can finally do this mission. Infantry combat, general, another general, artillery combat. All right, completed the Rajputana mission tree, man. I like that. Nice. Juice with vidges up. Uh, kind of a slog right here in the end, but, you know... What has to be done, has to be done. Uh, what can we do like this? I occupied that, even the Maldives. Uh, 
Let's see. I really can't take everything over here. Jesus effing Christ. I'm just gonna peace out for this and then truce break them for Sri Lanka, honestly. <laughs> yeah, but there we go. <laughs> uh, well, this was easy enough. I should have just done it earlier. But uh, there's Vig out of India. Of course, they still exist down here. But uh, truce with Orissa is about to be up in a few months. We'll declare on them too. I think we need two wars. Oh, no. No, no, no. We only need one more with them. <laughs> Good thing I went with Diplo. I'm over 100 over extension. Yeah, I'm gonna get these events. Either way, Truce with Orissa is up, and there's our final war. That took a while, man. That took a while. Okay, cord up almost everything from Vidge. Orissa has unconditionally surrendered, which means we can full annex them. Finally, it's over. All right, let me core everything up, and then we'll uh, commence. <laughs> Okay, everything has been cored up, and now after we formed one nation, we can commence with the formation of eight other nations if I can. Alright, so the next step is to become Sikh, which I will do just like that. And there we go, now we're Sikh. So now we need to flip to Punjabi so we can form Punjab. So what we need to do actually right here is uh, unstate a bunch of, uh, oops, not that, is unstate a bunch of provinces. So uh, Punjabi culture can be uh, basically the one with the most dev. There we go. Everything is unstated except for the capital. Now we can culture shift to Punjabi. And now we can form the kingdom of Punjab. Yes, please. New traditions and ambitions. We even got a completely different government type. A Misi confederacy or missile confederacy. I don't even know what that is. But uh, there's our second nation. Now that we're Punjab, we actually need to uh, state up Nepal nepali culture right here and uh so we can promote nepali where is it there it is and now we actually need to unstate everything that is punjabi so we can uh flip to uh nepali and actually that's not possible what is avani oh that's the that's this all right we need to move our capital to here i guess yeah let's wait for some points of course we're losing a lot of money during this and remember, after this, we need to go back to Sunni all the way at the end, uh, which we'll be able, uh, which we will be able to do just through this push of a button right here in a few years. And after deving Dang over here a bit to make it not so expensive, now I can move my capital here to a Nepali culture province, which means Nepali will have more dev than Avadi. And I just got enough points as well, so now we can culture shift to Nepali and uh, form the nation of Nepal. Boom, there it is, and there's our uh, after Rajputana. We got Punjab. Now we got Nepal, our third nation. Now we need to shift to Jharkhandi or Garjati to form Nagpur. Let's wait for points. Getting a little rebel bombed over here, but all in a day's work. Now let's move our capital to this Jharkhandi province right here, and let's unstate this last Nepali state, which means uh, Jharkhandi is almost the province that we have the most dev in. Now let's see, Bengali? Where's Bengali? Okay, now it's at 50. I exploited dev, and now we can culture shift to Jharkhandi, and uh, that means we can uh, Nagpur? East Berar is in a state. Ah, so it's this one right here. All right, we just got to do this. And that means that we can uh, form the kingdom of Nagpur. Perfect. And there is our next nation. That's our fourth one. And now we can form Orissa for our fifth one. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Alrighty then. So now I'm gonna like demote Rajasthani and promote uh, Marathi. And now we can culture shift to Marathi and uh, form the Maratha Confederation at Admin Tech 20. Well, uh, commenter, you didn't tell me about Admin Tech 20. Okay, so since I didn't even know Marathas needs Admin Tech 20, and since I forgot that Dekan also needs Admin Tech 20, we're unfortunately not gonna be doing those two, and we're only gonna probably end up at a silver tier with seven form nations, like I said. So what we're gonna do now is flip from Sikh over to Sunni, blah, 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 long live the Emperor, sure, whatever, which means that now we should be able to become the Sultan of Delhi as soon as we stayed up Delhi, just like that. Now the decision should be available. Boom, there it is. Now we're Delhi, there's our uh, sixth nation, and uh, only if we stab up, we'll be able to form the nation of Hindustan, which is going to be our final one, so no Dekan and no Marathas is going to leave us at seven. So yeah, I just need some admin points. We you know I've been doing every nations that I've been forming uh, missions and stuff like that, so uh, yeah, don't you worry about that one bit. Well, radical reforms <laughs> sure came in nicely. I think now we should be able to stab up. Yes! And uh, there's our final nation formation, Hindustan. Yes, please. Thank you. But that took a really long time, man. You guys have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, there you go, man. Start off as the nation of Mewar right here in these few provinces. And because Mewar has an achievement called Mewar Never Changes, according to your guys' suggestions, Mewar needed to always change. So that's why for today's campaign, our goal was to form as many nations as possible. The maximum number of nations that we could realistically form without too much pain was a 9, apparently to another commenter. But unfortunately, I didn't know that you need to be Admin Tech 20 to form Marathas, and I forgot that you need to be Admin Tech 20 to form 
Decepticons, so that's why we skipped those two nations. But like I said at the start, if we formed five, that's Bronze Tier. If we formed seven, that's Silver Tier. And if we formed all nine that were listed at the start, that will be a Gold Tier. Now, because we skipped those two with Hindustan, now we're at seven. So this challenge is a success, but only with a Silver Medal. Either way, man, start off as Mewar, like I said at the start. Super, super strong, really good national ideas. Even better as Rajputana later on. Slow and steady conquest, allied Orissa, allied Vijayanagar, made tons of money with the gold mine and later through everything else. Relied pretty heavily on Vassal this campaign, reconquering a lot of their cores. And after that, we just kept pummeling into the big guys that were left. Bengal, Janpur, Vijayanagar, so many times. Even Truce broke them. Orissa, Bahmanis, you know the rest. And uh, slow but steadily, I conquered all of India, which was a personal bonus goal for me. Not something that we needed to do for the video, but that's something I wanted to do. You know, just to have nice borders uh, for the thumbnail and such but yeah overall a super super fun campaign like i said at the start i recommend that you guys give mewar and rajputana later a shot build a ton of buildings look at all these marketplaces look at all of these workshops look at all of these manufactories and a ton of other buildings pretty much courthouses across half of the country but uh what else could you do man and after starting as mewar hitting admin tech 10 and conquering all the required provinces we formed rajputana which was our first nation then we flipped Sikh, then we culture shifted to Punjabi, formed Punjab, then we culture shifted to Nepali, formed Nepal, then we culture shifted to Jharkhandi, formed Nagpur, formed Orissa, couldn't form Maratha, so we skipped them, flipped to Sunni, couldn't form Dekan, so we skipped them, formed Delhi, and finally formed Hindustan, which is uh, eight nations? Wait, let me see that again. No, it's seven. It's seven. So uh, with that, ladies and gentlemen, this has been one of our longest campaigns ever in A to Z, but I'm uh, very happy to say that this challenge has been a success and that has been mewar in a to z let me know in the comments below what i should do with this nation next week if you want to watch me do stuff like this live you can follow me on twitch.tv slash red live and if you want to catch up on stuff from over there you can subscribe to the second channel link is in the description if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you like the content and want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video